Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 Subscribe. Twenty three. What are we watching? Ghoulies. Ghoulies. I forgot that was in there. Awesome. But before we get to the movie, we're off to take the kids to a trunk or treat. Little 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 celebration before Halloween. I decided to dress up as a splicing together of Goofy, Pluto, Chip and Dale. And the kids, of course, are Mickey and Minnie. You look amazing. Oh, look at our cat over there. You guys look great. Yeah. Say trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick trick or treat. <laughs> There they are. Say cheese. Cheese. I think so. Look at you guys. Here, there's are some right here. Candy? Can you say trick or treat? No, don't do that. Do you want some candy? Some suckers? There you go. Do you want some in your bucket too? Here, yeah, grab some. We have a whole bunch more if you want some. And we have really pretty. And here, let's get one without your mask, is that okay? Yes. Stand a little bit away from everybody. Okay, ready? Here, there you go. Yeah, we're done. You look amazing. No, can you look at my book? There's another thing going on at that church that she got married at. What do you have? M -M. Yummy. A full bag. Are those so good? <laughs> this is kind of your first Halloween where you can really experience it. When you're doing it on your own. Hey, can I see your spider ring? That looks great. That's awesome. Oh, so cool. Do you want to turn it around so that it? Yeah, let's see yours. That way. Can you show Daddy? Ooh, that's awesome. Cheese. Pigs in the background. Minnie and Mickey in the foreground. Did Mommy get a good pick? Okay, we are back home. That was a lot of fun. I kept telling people that I was a Walt Disney World tourist there to meet Mickey and Minnie, which my kids were dressed as. It was a lot of fun. But now, we're off to get to the movie, Ghoulies. So I don't think I like that very much. That might be the worst movie we've seen. You know, this is a... VHS cover that I grew up seeing in the aisles for, for as long as I can remember. And, I, I, you know, it draws the eye in. You see that toilet and you see one of the ghoulies popping out of it. And, you know, as a kid, it's pretty frightening. But this movie's only rated PG-13. It needed to be R. And I could have watched this as a baby. Um, it's just boring, bland. It's called The Ghoulies, but The Ghoulies are like not the showcase thing. You think, as a kid, this is probably, well, I don't know what I thought it was like because the, I thought the cover was a little scary looking. So I probably didn't think it was like The Gremlins because I'd never seen a preview or anything where The Gremlins, you know, I, I knew that it was a, a kiddish thing, a childish thing. The Ghoulies, I, I had nothing but that cover, right? But I was always interested in seeing it, but I waited. <laughs> all this time uh, to watch it tonight and it was a major disappointment. You want it to be about the ghoulies, I think. I think that's what I wanted and it to be like Gremlins maybe or Puppet Master or something like that but it, it wasn't. It was about people and um, I don't know satanic panic type stuff. Not satanic panic but you know Satan cult ritual type stuff. And it just wasn't any good. And I didn't even like looking at all the puppets. They, you know, they weren't that great. One of them, I just hated looking at. It kind of looked like a skinned cat or something. Anytime he was on screen, I was like, I don't like looking at you. 
uh, Mariska Hargitay is in it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I guess this was her very first film. Um, my, my wife watches SVU religiously, and uh, like every night, she's actually watching it right now. And when we were watching the opening credits, we saw Mariska, and it was like, oh my goodness, look at that. How, who, who knew? Uh, so we, you know, that, that was cool to see. This was her first role. Um, her character is sort of in love with somebody who makes zero sense. Not in love, but, you know, like dating, courting. I don't know. And it, it makes zero sense. And that, that guy who she's with is completely annoying. Like, don't know why he's in the movie. Don't know why his character is set up the way he is. Just not good. It's very, uh, very disappointing. Um... I was just hoping for more, you know, people say it's so bad, it's good, it's not that, it's just a waste of time, I would say. There's not enough humor in it to make it a so bad, it's good sort of situation. I mean, we laughed out loud a couple times, but it wasn't anything that, that made us like the movie. Again, I think it's the worst one we've seen so far, uh, and... It, you know, I, I should have just left this movie as the VHS cover because it was an, a lot better film when that's all I had was the VHS cover. Memories of seeing that in the aisles of video stores growing up. And I, I, I ruined my childhood. <laughs> uh, not really. It doesn't matter. But I don't know. It was just a disappointment. Really too bad. So, yeah, uh, I don't recommend this movie. If you've only seen the, the VHS cover, keep it that way. That's a much better memory than the movie itself. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout. Doo-loo, 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 doot. Subscribe! Yeah!